G'day. I've uh, today I've finished my StarMade CPU, and I'm going to demonstrate it running. Uh, this is a fully functioning 8-bit CPU uh, with 256 bytes of RAM. It's also very slow, so um, I've got a i5-2400 server that this is running on, and when it's running all the logic, it might take two or three seconds per cycle to actually uh, process the current cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate it stepping through the early stages of uh, the program running. Uh, the program is uh, Hello World StarMade Edition and it's stored in these banks here. So the first three banks are the program. Uh, it takes exactly 24 instructions which is kind of cool and then the second couple of banks is the string that is going to be displayed on the screen. The program listing uh, both pseudocode and assembler will be in the description of the video. Uh, I will also talk you through some of the instructions as they happen but it gets boring pretty quickly um, so uh, I will then once I've stepped through a few instructions I will zoom back around to the front of the ship, zoom out a bit so we can see it and then I'll actually speed the video up because it takes about 20 minutes to run the program approximately hmm, 280, um, 280 clock cycles to execute the whole thing. So initially I'll just start off by making a toggle point. Just so I can see stuff happening there. Uh, the lights in the background, the green light is the address slash control bus and the blue light is the data bus. Uh, as I showed uh, in the previous video with load store, the register file is over here and I've just implemented some nice new logic there. This block looks after the ALU and uh, jump logic so if we just go inside, the AL U is quite simple uh, because basically all the configuration options, all the configuration options are actually passed in as part of the command. And then the jump block is slightly more complex because there's a variety of different conditions that can be checked for, and I didn't really tidy it up necessarily. Plus, this block also has the. Uh, circuitry which converts the buses from one axis to the other. Alright, so if we go have a look at this puppy running, uh, I will set the clock running uh, later, but for now we're just going to turn the power on and start going through a few instructions. The first instruction is just an empty instruction, it's a no-op which on this processor takes two cycles because it's the same as load previous from zero to zero so it doesn't actually do anything except take time and I've only got it there so that I can reference a zero value without having to program one in. So um, there's, a, there's actually before we keep going there's also a quirk with the instructions on this Last video I made a comment about an inconsistency between uh, the bit direction of instructions versus the registers they contain. I was actually investigating that earlier today and found out I had it wrong. Somehow when I made this processor I have got it so that the instructions are most significant bit leftwise and data values are most significant bit right and to fix that would require fixing all my um, adders and other stuff 
and I just couldn't be bothered so we'll call it a quirk of the uh, architecture so let's start running something so the first instruction is just a jump two spaces uh, if you follow the green you should be able to see the program count or the address lines happening second instruction we execute is load the previous value that was just skipped into register 2 and that's a two cycle sorry that was a two cycle instruction and so now we will find that value stored here in register 2 and that's actually the address pointer to the string that it's going to be processing now again this is a Pascal style string so the first byte of the string is the length of the string uh, the next instruction when it happens that was load using the address of register 2 into register 3 so we've just loaded the size of the string into register 3 And then we, I've forgotten what that one does now. Uh, maybe because that was the load command, not an actual, com the load data, not an actual command. And that we're jumping over another set of data. Now this happens a few times in the program. So uh, what I think I'll do is I'll start the clock running, go around the front and just watch the program work. This will be sped up probably significantly maybe eight ten times fast faster than it's actually happening and so it will be running from that clock and you can see I'm already chunking out a bit that seems to be something to do with the network traffic between the server and the computer. There's no real reason for it to be lagging the way it is in terms of what's being displayed or processed on my computer. Uh, so we just zoom out a bit. And at times I'm going to have to move along so we can see. There we have it. Uh, 29 minutes to display 16 characters. Uh, 21 minutes, sorry, not 29. 29 includes mm, the earlier demonstration. All right, uh, that should be a lot shorter for you guys. And yeah, probably not going to run this again. Made in Star Maze would have been cooler, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Bye.